should have uh, six inches of the normal foam and good stuff. So now that we're cut open, we'll open up the box. Pretty much uh, showing the all the good stuff here. You've got your manual, your installation discs. You've got your um, you know owner's manual here. All your warranty information. So we'll just take that for now. Set her on the side. In here, you've got your uh, black and white ink as well as your colored ink. Of course, this is uh, number 210 for the black and white ink and uh, 211 for the colored ink. You have your uh, foam cable there for your fax, as well as your power cable, of course, to supply juice to the unit. So we'll get all this stuff cleared away, and then we'll um, dig up the printer itself. So now we got the printer out of the box. Um, first observation here, she's a fairly large unit. Um, not a real compact, not something you'd use in a dorm room or like you know, I said, they're in a very small area. Uh, she's wrapped in a wonderful, she is wrapped in a wonderful uh, plastic here. Peeling back the plastic, you notice the wonderful uh, kind of satin tight black finish. Um, you have your access uh, tray here. And your little, uh, whatever that is, two and a half inch uh, LCD screen, which will display all the functions. You have your keypad here for your uh, fax numbers, number of copies, whatever you want to put through. And of course, this is your um, keypad here for doing whichever your function buttons you want. If you want to scan, if you want to copy, fax, or card. And of course the card is your memory card uh, function. On and off button, fax memory, you have a setup button here, OK button here, and um, you know, redial button, pause button, all, all the good stuff. You can choose between color or um, black and white for your printing and of course your emergency shutdown stop is right here. So let's get into her guys and we'll tear off all that plastic and all the other um, stuff we don't need. One thing I will say guys is this orange tape, whatever it is, it's sure uh, Sure holds on for dear life. Flipping up the lid here, you notice the uh, photocopying and scanning surface here, a nice uh, you know, glass, of course, surface. Still, of course, peeling off all that wonderful plastic and tape. Making sure to get uh, all of it off, of course, because, well, obviously it don't need to be there. So yeah, once you got all the tape off, uh, we'll just do it once over on the machine itself. Of course, this is the business end that does all the scanning, copying, and all the good stuff. Um, pretty much, you run your document in, it goes through the machine, scans it, and pretty much comes back out and ready to go. And the machine does all the good stuff, and the little monkeys go to work inside and print your document and sends it away. So to lift up the uh, tray here to get up the ink cartridges, of course, as you see, she's locked. Well, you've got a handy little button here on the side. 
on the top uh, here. You just lift it on up and uh, she comes on open. And it has a handy dandy little blue uh, kickstand antler thingy that holds the lid up while you're inside uh, changing ink cartridges and things like that. So of course, uh, so we'll peel off this here, it doesn't need to be there, and then we're good to go. So now we'll throw the cover back down and all that, make sure everything is closed. Pull down the little uh, paper tray guide, and we'll turn the printer over, and I'll show you where the, uh, you know, there's a memory stick um, port in here for getting documents and photos that way. Um, right here at the front here is where your SD cards and all that business end uh, of things is. Underneath of it here, you got your pretty much your standard bottom side. Nothing really too uh, interesting going on there. On your uh, whatever it would be, left hand facing side, you have your power port to plug in your uh, power cord. And of course, on the back of the unit is where you have your printer cord, your USB cord, as well as your telephone line for all your faxes and uh, good stuff like that. And of course, this line here is uh, if you want to run a cord from the printer to a phone itself. If not, uh, make sure you leave that in because if that gets lost, then you know, it's the reason why it's there, right? To keep stuff out of that uh, spare phone jack. And like I showed you, what uh, came with the printer was the black and white uh, ink as well as the colored ink, the uh, foam cable, the uh, power um, cord, a getting started uh, user's manual, and all your uh, setup discs, warranty, and all that info as well. Well guys, this has been an unboxing and a bit of a brief tour of the uh, Canon PXMA MX420 uh, color printer, copier, scanner and fax. Of course guys, uh, watch out for the uh, setup video of this printer and then the operations check that will follow that. So guys, as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe and enjoy. Este, una, una instalación de, de sistema continuo de una impresora MX410 tenemos aquí tenemos todo, todos los accesorios comenzamos tenemos tenemos las tintas los cartuchos de tinta conectadas a las tangueras cada uno en su respectivo color estamos procediendo a meter los, los, las mangueritas por un agujero que hemos hecho para que tenga mejor comodidad la impresora el procedimiento Entiendo. poco a poco con paciencia En este caso ya hemos incorporado la T para que la manguera no se mueva. Verificamos si es que este, no se da traba la manguerita. Los resales correctos. Todo el procedimiento de la persona funcionando normalmente. El ring no toca el cable verán todo el sistema no toca absolutamente nada de la parte de la base de, de la impresora las maneras están totalmente alineadas
Bang. 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 Bang.